We're back with another FIFA 23 player review, and today we're going to be taking a look at Federico Chiesa, who's one of my favorite players in real life, so super excited about trying him out. Now he's 84 rated, he's going to be playing in the left mid position for us today in a 4-4-2 formation. He does have one of the finishing traits as well, being outside foot shot, so that's just very nice to have. He's got 91 pace, so he should be able to beat out most of the defenders with his pace. 81 shooting is really good for a winger at this stage in the game. You know, he's got 80 finishing, 86 shot power, 84 attack positioning, and we are boosting both the shooting and the passing with the dead eye Kim style. Now moving on to the passing, he does have 75 crossing, 78 short passing, 72 long passing. So nothing crazy, but he should be able to make do with it. You know, whipping the crosses, one twos with my other attackers. He should be pretty good with the passing. Now onto the dribbling, kind of combined with the physical. I'm expecting him to feel somewhat similar to that Rafinha card that I tried out. They both have similar dribbling and physical. So he should be feeling very smooth on the ball with the 88 agility, 81 balance, 82 ball control. And he does have 70 strength and 85 stamina. So that strength isn't crazy, but 70 strength on a gold card winger definitely isn't bad at all. And we're going to jump into a few games of division rivals with him and I'll catch you guys on the other side. Let's use that speed on Chiesa. Very nice. Shielding off the ball, go for the ball roll. Let's go for a near post shot. And that was a bit of a tight angle, but I mean, he used the pace there. He showed some strength and some really good ball skills. Let's use that speed up against Trent. We got around. All right, ball roll. Keep it going here. Coming back on side, giving me that passing option. I just need to get this shot off. Look at that left stick dribbling. And off the post, into the back of the net. And his dribbling is very good. All right, Keza. Make that run for us. Great run. Go for the La Croqueta. Somehow he was able to jam through the defender there. And he didn't really do the skill move that I was inputting, but he did score. Really good shot power there. Near post shot. All right, pass into Chiesa. Great acceleration there. Let's go for a fake shot. His fake shots come off really cleanly. Let's actually cross it. Great cross. And couldn't put the header in, but... All right, pass over to Kovacic. Chiesa making that run. Look at the ball handling. Oh yeah, heel to heel. Come on, Chiesa. Oh, that was almost a beauty. But we do get the rebound goal with Rafinha. But this guy's just weaving through the defenders. is on another level right now. All right, Rafinha. Kick it back to Obama Yang. Look at that run from Chiesa. Not the best pass. Oh, can we score the finesse shot? Man, finesse shots are just nerfed, aren't they? Back to Chiesa. Heel to heel. Use that physicality let's go for the shot and he's putting that one in the back of the net what a shot man i'm gonna see if i can whip in across to the back post chiesa there and how does he miss that it was kind of a weird volley he was falling kind of weirdly but he barely misses it i'm gonna cross that to obama yang and very good cross. The keeper there was really unlucky. I'm not sure how he didn't save that, but watch the replay. Yeah, that was a really weird save animation, but Keza gets the assist. All right, come on, Keza. We need this cross. Very good cross. And we do score the header with Vlahovic. So we've got that uh, Juventus link up going on between Keza and Vlahovic. All right, Chiesa is just going to be waiting back post for us. Come on, head that in. I think he did win the header there. That was driven right at the keeper, but didn't go in, obviously. Oh, what a pass. Come on, you got to score that, Chiesa. What is going on with the volley, man? Ooh, Chiesa sent him. Look at this man. Still going ball roll. Fake shot, cut it to the inside. Couldn't couldn't finish that play, but 
you saw the speed, the strength, all of it. All right, we got to cross this in with the Chiesa. We took too long. Got to cut it back. Trying to find an opening here. Borrow. Come on. Score that. Oh, that was another tight angle. Tried to go far post there, but I mean, to even be able to work an angle there was nice. Back to Chiesa. What a through ball. Come on. We got to score this. It's not over yet. Near post? Yes, sir. Mr. Chiesa making it all happen. I think the move is to go for the cross, but I think he's offside. Did he stay on? Looks like he did. So... Couldn't quite tell if I should cross it or not, but it worked out. Gaza has another assist. Passing it out on the wing to him. Gonna accelerate here. Explosive fake shot to the inside. It's working a lot. Ball roll. All right. Score that. That had so much power. I don't know how Mindy saved that. Great run. Let's cut it back. Use that physicality. Can we score a finesse shot here? I mean, he created a really good angle for the finesse shot, but not quite. We're taking that finesse shot. Off the crossbar, man. That was dipping. Almost a goal. There we go. That run from Chiesa. We're going to go far post. And he's going to curl it around the keeper. Kunde was trying to slide in and block it, but we just got the shot off and score a really nice shot. Oh my goodness. That was nasty. We couldn't quite finish it, but that was a nasty move there. We're back after testing Keza in several games of division rivals. And for me, he did live up to my expectations. There was one key area where he didn't quite live up to the hype and kind of let me down from time to time. But I'll talk about that here in a minute. And so starting out with the pace, I thought that the pace was really good. You know, most of the defenders I came up across, they really weren't able to catch him. You know, a couple of times guys like Kunde and Rudiger with higher pace were able to catch him and kind of pull him back. But other than that, most players he's coming up against, you're going to easily be able to sprint by them without a problem. Now, the shooting is that area that was letting me down. It was a little bit inconsistent where I thought that there were shots he should be scoring and they were going a bit wide or maybe straight down the middle right at the keeper. But, you know, the 81 shooting I thought was going to be pretty solid and he did score a fair amount of goals. I think he scored five goals for us. But yeah, there were just a couple of opportunities where the shooting was a bit inconsistent and that was even after boosting it with the dead eye Kim style. So yeah, that's just something to kind of look out for. On to the passing. The passing did feel a little bit better than the 76, you know, maybe like 80, 81 is kind of what it felt like. The short passing, over the top two balls, the crossing especially. The crossing was pretty much always pinpoint into my strikers. Guys like Obama Yang were just there and ready to head them in from the really accurate crosses coming off of Chiesa. So that was something that surprised me and I really liked about this card. And now moving on to the dribbling. The dribbling kind of combined with the physical like we talked about we thought it would be similar to rafinha and it was in fact really similar i do think that the physicality though and the dribbling is a bit better on this card and he was keeping the ball really close to his feet and the left stick dribbling actually did feel pretty good on this card despite it being kind of nerfed in this year's game so i was really happy to see that and i thought that's a big pro on this card so yeah overall for, I think I bought this guy for 40k. I think that's really a pretty decent value. You know, he's probably going to drop going into this weekend being ones to watch promo because we are going to get a lot of supply with stuff like promo packs and division rivals rewards. So he'll probably come off the 40k price range. But, you know, even for like 30k, I think 30k is probably really good value for this card. And he definitely won't disappoint you. And this is still one of the first player reviews that I'm doing for FIFA 23, but I can compare him to Rafinha who's on that right-hand side. And you know, if you've tried out the Rafinha card, I will say that Chiesa does feel better overall, even though Chiesa's on the left-hand side. 
So that's just kind of a quick comparison there. But yeah, very solid card. I definitely recommend picking them up. And I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, hit the thumbs up button. Hit the subscribe button if you're new. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.